Welcome to an Arkansas AgCast Deep Dive, where we take a closer look at news that impacts you. The Arkansas AgCast is brought to you by the Arkansas Farm Bureau Federation. Welcome to the latest episode of the AgCast Deep Dive series. We developed the series as a way to break away from the Ag News headlines and take a closer look at a topic that matters to our members. I'm the host of today's episode, John McMinn, and I'm glad to welcome Senator John Bozeman back to the Arkansas AgCast. Senator, welcome. Well, thank you for having me as always. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a fun fact here, you are the only repeat guest we've had on the AgCast. Well, that's a great honor. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you slapped <laughs> that, that on you your... didn't You didn't grill me enough the first time and brought me back to, <laughs> well, to work me over some more. Yeah, we're glad to have you as many times as you want to be here. Well, so thank you, you for having me. If you want to add that to your resume, I'm sure that'll no, get you yeah, where yeah. you want to go. I'll put that at the top. Well, uh, you know, the last time you were here, I think it was February 2023, uh, and we talked a little bit about the Farm Bill. So I was wanting to go ahead and start into that today, if that's okay with no, you. No, it's perfect. All right. Well, let's start by giving us a kind of a state of the farm bill, if you will. And where do you think the, the progress or how's the process of the farm bill and where it is right now? Well, we're working really hard on it. I've got a great staff and uh, I've got a good relationship with Senator Stabenow. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, you know, we're working on it. And then our House counterparts also are working on it. Uh, of course. Congressman Thompson, uh, G.T. Thompson and then uh, our, his counterpart. Uh, Congressman Scott. So we're in a situation where I feel very strongly, and I've had the opportunity to be, I think, in 18, 19 states. We've yep. got three or four more to go, wow. listening sessions. Uh, it's tough in farm country. Absolutely. You know, you know that better than anybody. The The risk management tools aren't working. Mm-hmm. This, the 2018 Farm Bill is based on 2012 data. Yeah. It's a totally different world now. Absolutely. And so we've got to get that up. We've got to be able to, to make it such that the risk management tools work so that farmers want to continue farming. Of course. And that they can go to the bank and borrow the money that they've got. So that and then promoting trade, research is so important, and there's certainly the conservation aspect. So. It's a big job. It's going to take some money. And so far, uh, the other side has been resistant about actually wanting to provide more resources into the farm part of the farm bill. So I was in North Dakota at a listening session, and uh, a lady was there, and she said, Senator, we need more farm in the farm bill. And I totally agree with that. So, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really where we're at. So yeah. uh, on the other hand, I know how important it is to give uh, continuity, assurance mm-hmm. to our farmers with the passage of a farm bill. People say, well, John, you got to do something. And mm-hmm. my retort to that is, no, we got to do the right thing. Exactly. So we're talking about a five-year contract. It's difficult now. Who knows what the world's going to look like five years from now. Absolutely. So, you know, we, we, we do have to do the right thing. Well, we know there are a lot of factors that could influence the, the farm bill process this year. So your counterpart, Senator Stabenow, she's retiring. Uh, we also know that it's a presidential election year. So a lot going on. Do you still see us getting a farm bill in 2024? Now, a lot of these big things, and this is big. I mean, this is a $1.5 trillion package, and mm-hmm. so it's huge. Yeah. A lot of these big things, you know, you, you, you feel like they're going to get done. You don't really understand how, but but they get done. <clears throat> the good news is is that the average, as I talked to you know, people in Congress, in the House, and the Senate, they want to get a farm bill done. Yeah, it's important to Democrats. It's important to Republicans. Farm bills aren't aren't about Democrats and Republicans. Mm-hmm. It's regions of the countries and it's various commodities. Yeah, putting all that together. So the want to is there. We just got to hammer out the details, but we're not going to get there unless we put more resources of that 1.5 trillion into the farm part. So right now it's about 85% nutrition and about 15% agriculture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, the numbers just don't, they just don't add up the way they need to. Yeah. Well, I've read that you and your colleagues on the Republican side of the committee have been working on a framework for the Farm Bill, right? We have, yes. Can you tell us what you hope to achieve with that framework? And would you mind sharing some of the priorities that may be included in that specific framework? Well, as I go around, the the, the priority is is getting farmers 
again, the risk management tools that they need. So oh, yeah. That's, that's the top priority. Certainly. So that's, that's the basis. You know, we're blessed. We've got this cheapest, safest food supply of any place, but that's all based on a healthy farm economy. A healthy farm economy is what rural America is all about. Yeah. So the other aspect that we hear a lot about, again, is, is research, which is the basis of us being so efficient, making farmers more productive, which okay. they're going to yeah. need to be as they go forward with these high input costs. And uh, trade is so important, you know, plussing up the trade aspect. So that's really where we're at. Those are the things that, that we hear the most about mm-hmm. and uh, are committed to getting done. Well, I'm going to take you off the hot seat here now. We've at, we've asked the tough questions. But here on the Deep Dive episodes we have, and, and also in the AgCast, we never miss an opportunity to talk about food. So it's we Easter. We don't miss any meals. <laughs> Around here, we definitely don't. So <laughs> you're in good company here. So it's Easter holiday coming up. You know, does your family have a big meal at lunch? And if you do, what is it that's always served no, around we, that holiday? We have a tradition of going to uh, all of my family, my extended family. We go to Montanay Chicken in oh, Rogers, yeah. Arkansas. Yeah, that's, that place is amazing. And eat ourselves into a stupor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you at all. After getting up, my wife is so good. She still, the Easter Bunny still comes and visits yeah. me yeah, yeah. now and uh, brings me. I like the... Uh, the marshmallow peeps. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are good. The, is there a specific and the color? And the eggs and the... Is there a specific... I'm specific? kind of a... Tra- I like the yellow. I'm kind of a tradition. And the pink. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, before we end here today, is there anything else you want to uh, provide to our listeners, listeners or just leave it on a, on a note? Well, the only thing I would say is, is that I do understand how important the farm bill is. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, our farmers work so hard. I know how difficult it is. We're in a situation now, biggest... Biggest decrease in farm income ever, ever last year. The every all of the experts tell us that we're going to have that much or more this year. So it's difficult. Yes. So we have to account for that, and mm-hmm. that's really what it's all about: is making sure that our farmers have the tools that they need uh, in a very difficult time, so they can go forward and uh, you know provide what they're what they're providing the cheapest, safest food supply. I was. Asked to give a little uh, comment to our, our conference not too long ago. Mm-hmm. So I talked about, you know, what we were trying to do and uh, asked if there was any questions. And Marco Rubio, who's the uh, head of – he's our representative. He's the Republican ranking member on intelligence. Okay. And he said, John, I always remind them that food security is national security. So it's easy to say these things. Yes. But it truly is, you know, what it's all about. So there's so many reasons that we need to get a good farm bill done. We're committed to doing it, and uh, we appreciate Farm Bureau, appreciate all they stand for and the the tremendous uh, job that they do. Well, thank you. I think you get you get judged on two things: the things <laughs> yes, you, you the good things you get in a farm bill, mm-hmm. or good legislation you get passed, and then the bad things you keep from happening. Absolutely. And right now, there's a, a lot of bad things being proposed that we're doing our best. To, yeah, you know, you push the push good things the and fight the bad ones, right? Exactly. So, well, I think you get a you gave, gave a good point of the farm income uh, being lower, you huge. know, and uh, with all the things farmers are being hit with today, and then also you added in the the data that is being used and information used in the current farm bill right. is out of date, and right. having to change that or fix that and update all that is a big big priority. Right. Exactly. So, and, I, and I understand you probably have John Newton working, Doctor Newton working yeah, on all John that stuff. Great. He does a tremendous job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, John, John can uh, he can explain it where even I can understand. It. <laughs> he always gives me a chart, and uh, and sometimes he drives people crazy with charts because he does such a good job of explaining some of the stuff that you know that that is come comes out is kind of crazy, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, he's able to highlight that and really show you know what. What sometimes unintended, you know, you, you you hear people come up with these things, and and uh, there's sometimes there's a lot of unintended consequences, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's able to point that out. And again, does a good job, not only himself, but working with the other land grants. Yes, we're so blessed that they do such a good job throughout the country. Yeah, yeah. As a, a former land grant employee, that uh, that means a lot. So mm-hmm. I really appreciate it. And uh, is there anything? 
you know, outside of the farm bill that you, you've had your kind of focus on or eye on? Um, well, the big thing that we've been working on is ag appro- uh, well, not ag appropriation, just appropriations in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, getting our budget squared away. We got through with the Finally got through with the uh, 24 budget, which started on October 1st. And yeah. Here yeah. we are six months into it, but uh, that was big, and uh, we were able to do that, I think, in a successful way. Now we're looking at uh, 2025. Okay. And yeah. so uh, ag appropriations are a big part of that, but just the appropriations package in general uh, is really something that, uh, like I say, we're working hard on. Okay. Well, Senator, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Maybe we'll make it three times. Yeah, you know, yeah, one of these no, that'd days. be great. Whenever you want to come here. hang out with us, we're, we'll happy we'll come to do it. Around, I, uh, maybe we'll come around another holiday and talk more about eating. <laughs> yeah, you come around Thanksgiving and we'll have a big conversation. <laughs> that wraps up the special edition of the Arkansas AgCast. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this deep dive episode. We'll continue bringing on guests to take a closer look at topics important to our members. Remember, you can catch new weekly episodes of the Arkansas iCast every Thursday. Find video episodes on Facebook and YouTube. Listen to the audio version where you listen to podcasts. Make sure to subscribe and leave us a review when you have a few extra minutes. The Arkansas iCast is brought to you by Arkansas Farm Bureau. I'm John McMinn. We'll see you next time. 